You're still here with us and we're looking at uh, business insight. Now, one thing we've always talked about here is financial literacy, but a very interesting one here. Uh, the people I have with me are going to be looking at that, but more specifically, uh, focusing on a particular angle. And with me in studios at the extreme end there is Aisha Ali, who is the founder of iProfile Foundation. You're very welcome. Thank you. Indeed. And right next to me is Vainom Gisha Owen, and he is a young boy. And very interesting that we're talking uh, about the financial uh, literacy aspect, and he is right here. You're very welcome, my dear. Thank you. Okay. Now, real quick, um, I will start with a young man here. Do you want me to call you a young man? Or? <laughs> <laughs> um, tell us about yourself, Owen. Uh, my name is Benam Gisha Owen. Mm -hmm. I'm 11 years old and I go to Marimba Junior School. Okay. So you're here, you've come with Aisha. We shall get into the details why. But real quick, Aisha, tell us about I Profile Foundation. First of all, I'm intrigued by the I <laughs> aspect of it. Many people get yeah. intrigued by it. Mm -hmm. But um, before I dive into what I Profile does, mm -hmm. so. The I usually stands for individual and it's focusing on an individual child and how you know we get holistically mm. involved into mm -hmm. activities. Mm -hmm. So I Profile is a non-profit organization okay. that uh, focuses on child empowerment programs with emphasis on leadership, financial literacy mm -hmm. and entrepreneurship. Ooh, now yeah. that's where he comes. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, now let, let's, let's look at when we're talking about the financial literacy curriculum that you are focusing on. Yeah. Mm. So um, we have a flagship campaign okay. uh, called the Coin Dream Challenge. Mm. And one of the reasons why we introduced this is, you know, according to financial inclusion strategy, 16% mm -hmm. of Ugandans have bank accounts. True. Where the rest keep the money, we have no idea. <laughs> and as adults, many of us are struggling with, you know, keeping up our budget, saving the money. You find someone banking money this morning and by afternoon or even an hour, the ATM is next door. Mm -hmm. So inculcating a saving culture in young children is something that is very vital and instrumental. Mm -hmm. And um, going forward from that, even in 2016, when I was certified by um, Bank of Uganda as a financial literacy trainer, mm -hmm. we realized why not start this young and inculcate the basics of financial literacy, like mm -hmm. prioritizing our needs and foregoing some wants, yeah? mm -hmm. uh, budgeting, spending, looking at the nitty gritties of why it's important to set a goal. Mm -hmm. You see, many of us, even as adults, me, I'm a victim actually mm -hmm. previously when I became financially literate. Mm -hmm. um, I used to be an impulsive buyer, and one of the things that really hit me hard was, you have a million shillings this morning, mm -hmm. and by the time you're home, you might Nothing. have 5,000 shillings you and you have no <laughs> idea where that money went. <laughs> so one of the things we teach the kids is mm. it's in four phases. So we have the educational phase where we teach them money history, mm. you know, the basics of budgeting, spending, um, saving, how to set goals, which is mm. really important because mm. if you don't, you might not actually yeah, achieve anything. Even for adults. Even for adults. Mm. So True. after they get to know the essence of those topics is now when we dive into the Kid Prenua program. Mm. Because because we realized, you see, kids do not earn money. Yeah? Interesting. <laughs> Let's call it kidpreneur. <laughs> yes. Okay. They do not earn money, and mm. sometimes, you know, they're given little break money, and some are not. Yeah. So how do we strike a balance? Mm -hmm. So we introduced our kidpreneur program, which focuses on hands-on skills, okay. basics of making bracelets, making, oh. you know, necklaces, and different little things mm. that they can sell to their friends, their teachers, their parents, mm -hmm. that can help them save their money. Okay. So this coin dream challenge. Yes. This is what we're looking at, yes. exactly what you've seen. Yes. But how did you come up with the whole coin dream challenge? Uh, going back to a personal story, I had mm -hmm. my first bank account when I was eight years old, okay. and I had a saving box. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know necessarily why I was saving, and you know, mm -hmm. at that time, I was just excited about keeping money and having a bank account, which my dad opened up for me. Mm -hmm. But looking at it from his perspective is he's someone who was very cautious with his receipts. I'd even with fuel, mm -hmm. he would get a receipt. And not until I got older is when I got to you know, be inquisitive and asked him, mm -hmm. so why are you keeping all these receipts? And sometimes, you know, during the weekends, would go out and have fun. But during the week, if my dad finds you asking him for money that, oh, dad, I need to buy a pizza, he'll be like, but there's food at home where you can make it yourself. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I thought he was being shrewd sure, with money. Yeah. But it's until I reached um, S6 mm -hmm. uh, during my vacation that I realized I was spending a lot of money on things 
that were not growing my wealth. Yeah. So there's a difference between wealth and mm -hmm. income. Mm -hmm. And looking at it from a global perspective, Uganda has been ranked one of the most entrepreneurial countries, but with the highest failure rate. Mm -hmm. It may not be that we lack capital, but sometimes the discipline to mm -hmm. say no to impulse buying, cra uh, cravings, mm -hmm. friends who have emergencies. Someone tells you, I need two uh, million yeah. shillings. And debt <laughs> is one thing that people don't have you know, the discipline to pay back. Yeah. Some, it's very easy to ask for money, but paying it back is something very hard mm -hmm. because we've not been inculcated with these habits from a tender from age. A tender age. But from and the, we have yeah. a young man here, you know, uh, she talked about skills making. Do you do any of those things? Yes. So you can make a bracelet? Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you sell, you sell them? Yes. Hmm. Also necklaces and earrings. Ah, that's nice. That's very interesting. So how many do you get to make like a day? It depends on the time I have. Oh. He's speaking like a real. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Okay, um, so tell me about your, how did you choose to get into this? Why did you get into this? Uh, well, it all started uh, in 2017 okay. when Madame Aisha and her group came to our school mm -hmm. and they started choosing a certain group of, ki of children okay. from our classes. Mm -hmm. So I was anxious to know what they were doing in their groups. So I went to Madame Aisha, I talked to her, I said I wanted to join because I saw what they were doing is fun. I know okay. kids. <laughs> Kids like that the stuff all the time. Yeah. So I, s I went, I asked her if I could join and she allowed me. So that's how I got in so to the program. Saving and making money was fun for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's interesting. It's like a game. <laughs> <laughs> this is very impressive. Okay, so when you went to Madame Aisha then, she told you, okay, fine, join us. Did you go back to your parents or you took this decision on your own and say, well, uh, mommy and daddy, whether you like it or not, I'm going to make some money, I'm going to save some money. Yes, that's what I did. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <It's very laughs> when you didn't I get permission. Uh, the, my mom already allowed me, I oh. already got permission from that's her, good. so she said anything concerning money, as long as you, you're going to save mm -hmm. or doing anything like that, that will benefit you. It's mm -hmm. okay. Okay, so you carried something with you. Tell me about it. Uh, well, this is the saving box which you are given to save. So, uh, mm -hmm. raise it a bit, maybe. Raise it a bit. Mm -hmm. Like, this is the saving box which you are given all the time to save the money here. Mm -hmm. So, whenever it's full, they go and open it and they put it in our bank account. Wait, who opens? Uh, Madame Aisha here? Yes, okay. and our group. The okay. people <laughs> that answer all from friends. <laughs> and your group. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when it's full, Mm. You take it to her and tell her, well, I have some, some money here. It's a full box. box, and then they save it for you. Yes, in our bank accounts. Okay. So how do you get to know your information? She gives it to you or gives it to your parents? Uh, the information, some, most of the times I get it from her, or if not, she contacts our parents, and then we get the information from them. If, like during the holidays, mm -hmm. We get the information from our parents because mm -hmm. the early days it's very difficult to call out to find yeah. pupils. Mm -hmm. So most of the time she calls our parents and the, the parents are the ones who tell us. Huh? This is an interesting mm -hmm. one. Okay, so Aisha, real quick, 2016, uh, the, the coin dream, the coin dream challenge. challenge. Uh, how has it been so far? We're in 2019, so really, wow. you know, you have a story it's for it's me. It's been an um, exciting thrilling experience. Um, <laughs> okay. In the beginning, mm. I really had no clue how kids were going to save money because um, we kind of updated our saving boxes thanks yeah. to our partners, yeah. Bank of Africa. Uh -huh. uh, previously, we had plastic bottled saving boxes mm -hmm. that we made, you know, to recycle and stuff like that. And I was thinking to myself, kids are vulnerable to spending money and this box could it's be easy. easily opened. Yeah. And we, we tested out with four schools, so we had City mm -hmm. Parents, Jack and Jill, uh, Danny's Primary School, and Public Trust. Mm -hmm. Now, these are kids from different income families, you know? Mm -hmm. City Parents, some um, are low-income families, and we just wanted to test out and see what would be the outcome. Mm -hmm. So, the first month, of course, was exciting, where we're doing the lessons, all the kids were, you know, grappling, mm -hmm. uh, getting all these... Um, knowledge and, and all that. And then the second month with the 
Kidpreneur Preneur program. They were excited to make the bracelets, sell them, and they were making money. Mm -hmm. But my worry was that on World Saving Day, when they all converge, will we have empty boxes or will we have money there? Mm -hmm. To my surprise, each kid that came came with money. Oh, wow. And our highest saver, who is currently our, our ambassador, was a pupil formerly of City Parents Primary mm -hmm. School. Mm -hmm. She's now in S1. She's called Reina mm -hmm. at Gayaza. She won the category of saving and she had 165,200 shillings. For a child, that's all. For a child. Mm -hmm. And currently, as I speak, <coughs> she has about 1.5 million in her account. Interesting. Interesting. And we're having adults walking around <laughs> thinking, <laughs> how do I get a 1 million, one million shillings? Okay. Yeah. Um, so, how much do you sell a bracelet for? Uh, it depends on the type of beads which I have. So, if <sighs> okay. the beads, see, we all, when you're s selling something, you have to make sure you make a profit. Mm -hmm. So, if the beads I bought them at around 5,000, mm -hmm. at least I have to make a profit of 2,000. And that's I sell it at <laughs> That's <000. a> huge <laughs> profit. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, have you ever been tempted to go and tell mommy or daddy or Madame Aisha here, you know, I have, I have a challenge, I want to get myself this, I want to get myself that, can I use some of my money? Have you ever been tempted? Because I'm assuming at this age, really, there's so many things you see and want True. to get. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I've ever, but somewhere, somehow, I managed to overcome it. Oh, really? How? I, I had my goals. Mm -hmm. So I was focusing on my goals of what I want. Mm. And that made me overcome the temptations. Ah, that is <laughs> some strong <laughs> motivation. <laughs> OK, now, Aisha, we're looking at some of the things you talked about, budgeting skills, teaching them how to save, make their own. I get them make their own and the saving bit. So how are you teaching them you know, in regards to how to budget you know, for, for their money and things like that? I think it would be in best position to answer Please that. Please tell me how yeah. you budget for your money. Well, me, the way I budget my money is that I first get the most important things which need to go first, which I really, really need at the, that time. Mm -hmm. And then these minor things like sweets, pizza, mm -hmm. the stuff, maybe they may go for another time because right now, what those are the needs which I can live with. with. Mm -hmm when I don't have them, but these needs, which I, there are some needs which you cannot live without. Mm -hmm. So me, when I'm making my budget, I first plan for the things which I really need. Mm -hmm. Then those uh, pizza, all the stuff, they come in later. Okay. Maybe. You leave it to mommy and daddy to <laughs> buy yes, pizza. to buy that. <laughs> so me, I, in the same way I win, I get my, my materials, mm -hmm. and I also get some money to save. Also, when you're budgeting some of the things that you're using to make the bracelets and necklaces our top priority for Yes, huh. so because I, I earn money from them. from them, and I can use that money to save. Mm -hmm. And when I save, I'll gain more money. Like, I start with 100 shillings. Mm -hmm. In maybe f a month or a year, I may get 1 million. Mm -hmm. So in that way, even if I, I buy those stuff, as long as I have something to save, mm -hmm. that is okay with me. Mm. I am <laughs> amused by this child. But okay, very interesting. Uh, Aisha, <coughs> this means a lot to you. Yeah. I, I pretty much know this means a lot to you because giving me your history or your background, it sort of sets you yeah. know, the whole okay. foundation for it. But then challenges that you've faced, even now, you know, when it comes to letting people understand, that, well, you can talk financial uh, literacy with a child and mm -hmm. they, g they do understand you get you when you've been to these different schools. Right. What are some of the challenges that you faced? Do people get to understand you? Are they thinking, hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, um, the, the response has really been positive. Mm -hmm. um, firstly, from the parents. Uh, okay. Some of them, even on Twitter mm -hmm. or Facebook, a parent will be like, oh my God, I need to open an account for my child. And mm -hmm. I'm thinking, wow, like this is really impactful. Yeah. But with the schools, it's really been positive. Um, they get to appreciate because what we're teaching the kids is, you know, the right usage of money and how they're supposed to use the money. Because sometimes, you know, we also emphasize the fact that they don't have to steal money or don't get money in wrong ways. So mm -hmm. we're educating them holistically. So did you have understand. challenges? Because this is a very... Uh, it's, it's an age where, where it's everything is unpredictable. Yeah. Did you have challenges dealing with this age or, you know... 
Pretty much not. It's, it's really? been exciting, actually. It's been exciting. I, I think you <laughs> just <laughs> love it, Charlotte. <laughs> but okay, real quick. You talked about uh, trying out a few schools. Yeah. So the thing is, you're not selective on what school. Yeah. As long as they're willing, to take, as they're willing to take on this program. So are you focusing in Kampala areas alone? Uh, we did a pilot in Sembabule district. Okay. And that was quite an experience. We had to translate the lessons to the local language. Ah. And um, some of the things were a bit complex, especially with budgeting, so mm -hmm. we had to kind of change the dynamics. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that stood out for me is these children are really, 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 really intelligent. And mm -hmm. one of the things is that, so we usually give them a challenge to mm -hmm. save like for 60 days, mm -hmm. but given the background, like it was out of town and some of the kids do not get pocket money, some of them fetch water to get money. So we had to give them a time frame of a mm -hmm. year to actually save And those money. parents were willing? They were, oh, okay. they were. They were. Mm. So apart from, I think it was just a scenario where one of, I think the parents did not have a clue about, you know, a bank account and what is a saving box. So we had to, we usually now what we do is we also engage the parents to let them understand and what get, get them to, you know, know the realities of what a bank is and the safety of the kids' money. But mm. One of the most outstanding stories for me was one of the kids actually, we opened his box and he had about 62,000 from a mm -hmm. child in Zimbabwe district. Wow. And later this kid I think bought a hen oh, and yeah. now it started it's now always doing business. building for him. So that's one of the things that you know wakes me up every single day to reach as many children as I can. Yeah. And one of the goals that we have is to have kids around the world have bank accounts and build their wealth so that by the time they're 18 we do not have entrepreneurs seeking out for loans or <coughs> you know getting yeah. money from people mm -hmm. and some going behind bars because they cannot pay back money mm -hmm. and yet one of the other plans we have is you know after they've accumulated their wealth we're looking at investment channels business mentors that can help them mm -hmm. grow their as, they as, well, as they get older okay so yeah. this is a very huge project oh, really. yes, we, we're, right. we're looking at you growing growing <laughs> children yeah. you know in terms of their financial uh, state okay so you're, fo you're going to just stick to the Kampala Central Region or are you seeking to go further within the country? Well, according to our 10-year plan, um, mm. we have to be in all the districts okay. in uh, Kampala, of which we've already initiated. Mm -hmm. uh, so next uh, month, when our Coin Dream Challenge begins, we're going to have presence in Gulu, mm -hmm. in um, Kabale, yes. and Barara. And also, interestingly, countries have picked interests. So we might also branch off to Kenya and Nigeria as well. Well, I must wish you the best of luck there, because <laughs> that's you. very interesting. Yeah. Now, um, you said goals. You've achieved a couple of things. This is a, a good example. You gave me the young lady's name. Yeah. But now, where do you see yourself in terms of changing the whole aspect of understanding financial management. Where do you see yourself as Aisha, as iProfile Foundation, you know, in just a few years from now? Yeah. So um, the fact that we're working with children, we want to make it as fun as possible. Mm -hmm. And one of the innovations we're working on is a board game mm -hmm. for kids on financial literacy. And um, or designed for that? Yes. Oh, okay. Designed for that. Mm -hmm. And we also have. I don't know if you noticed, um, the logo we have for the Coin Dream Challenge is actually a coin. And one of the things is we want to animate a series of financial literacy that the kids can relate with. Mm -hmm. You know, over time, we are going in the digital era and sometimes people live online. Mm -hmm. Even children have tablets. Mm -hmm. And how do we have educative material for them to learn from? So we're looking at going digital, mm -hmm. having board games, and making it as fun as possible for the children. Okay. Yeah. So Owen, yes. what has this been like for you? Well, uh, in my journey, it has been very fun. It has been interesting okay. to, to learn the benefits of saving. And on the other hand, it has given me a heads up in some subjects like SST. Mm -hmm. Because when you are starting, uh, they, they told us the history of money. Mm -hmm. So that gave me a heads up in SST to know what money 
was and how money was used in those times, mm -hmm. and also the types of money they used during that time. Which is definitely different now. <laughs> but, uh, and, and I like that you went with the whole coin yeah. aspect, because some people think yeah, to too. save money, I need to have a lot to have some spare yeah, left. Yeah. And to start off with a coin is very, mm -hmm. very interesting. Now, tell me, what would you want to do with yourself in regards to now that you've learned how to save your money, you know how to budget for your money. If you got this money one day and you're told to do something with it, what would you want to do? Well, I would start up a project. Okay. Like to help other kids who don't know about this, to know more about the iProfile Foundation and the saving all, all of that, the budgeting, because you may find some peop some kids, they do not know all of that. Find a person in s senior six does not know anything about saving. So, if I were to get this money, mm -hmm. I would definitely use it to make up a project to help others. Well, actually, you have a partner. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. A partner in the making. <laughs> so this is a very cliche question that everyone asks a child. Yeah. And this is, what do you want to be? When you, you look at yourself now, you learn all these things from Madame Aisha, your parents have supported you. Have you identified, probably, or have an idea? Because usually, this age, I'd want to insist on things may change in the future. Yeah. But is there something that you think, well, I think, when I'm older, probably 20-something, that's a bit far, yeah? <laughs> I want to have done this or do this or involve myself in this. Do you have a dream? Yes. Tell me. Uh, when I reached like maybe 25 or okay. that higher age, yeah? mm -hmm. I would like <laughs> to, as old. I know. <laughs> to, to start uh, a project for others that will benefit others and also me. So you want to get into the same business still? Yes. Or sometimes during my leisure time I can go and start playing football or be an engineer because you may know you know nowadays the world is changing yeah. because here you may be when there is no program today mm -hmm. but yet you don't have money so you, if you, ha you can do more than one thing like more than a job if Today the program we don't have, it's a public holiday we are breaking off. Mm -hmm. I, I you know I still need more money so I can go and play football or I can become, a, I be, because I'm an engineer, I can go and maybe build Just houses, mm -hmm. uh, fix cars to get more money and I also save. Well he knows all types <laughs> of engineering yeah. clearly. So what do you do in your spare time for now like if you're in holidays? Mm -hmm. What do you get to do to keep yourself busy and your mind going? Yes, I revise my books, I do my holiday packages and I try to get money because oh. I want to save. So, so you're making more bracelets, you're making more necklaces. Mm, we, we make and then most of the times they, s they buy. But you get to play a bit as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Aisha, I, I, I can now see why you enjoy <laughs> this. <laughs> I, I see why you enjoy this. But real quick, um, final word from you here in regards to uh, the financial literacy, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, direction that you've taken and of course focusing mm -hmm. on children mm -hmm. like Owen here. Mm -hmm. Real quick to the people, uh, look into that camera okay. and then you can talk to the people out there. Well, um, I call out on all parents to start money conversations with their children as early as possible. And even for the adults, it's never too late. Uh, you can break down, uh, start a saving plan. If you want to save 10 million in a year, 27,500 shillings per day. That's how simple it is. Mm -hmm. So my humble appeal is, you know, budget, the small things that we ignore, even like Benjamin Franklin puts it, a small leak sinks a great ship. So let's track our expenditures, let's budget, and let's have you know conversations with our children about money, let's mm -hmm. support them, and support the entrepreneurial journeys as well. Owen, yes. it's your turn. Talk to the people out there, your friends, uh, your, you know, the young boys and girls out there, but also the adults, you know, on what this has done for you. Well, uh, I would like to tell you that you need to save a lot of money you need to save because one day one time you may fall sick you may get an accident you don't have money but remember when you in you used to save in that bad time during that time you used to save so that money can come as a great use to you 
and also the children. Even though you may think that you're still young, but it's never too late. You should start now to save, and you already should budget for your items. Oh. I am thinking <laughs> about how you're doing this. But well, thank you so much, uh, Aisha Ali over there, who is the founder of iProfile Foundation. And right next to me here is Bainom Gisha Owen uh, from Miriam Bejiria School. I am so proud of you for a young man to say, well, you, he actually brought himself to you. You didn't, you didn't <laughs> yes, seek yeah. him out. He brought himself to you. Yeah. But I do wish you the best thank endeavors. You. And Aisha, all the best as well. Yeah. This is, for me, a very good idea. Keep going with it, and I do hope uh, people get to appreciate what you're doing eventually. I know people are appreciating, but I mean like away from here yeah. and all over, whatever um, aspect you're taking or direction you're taking. Thank you so much for watching Business Today. My name is Rowena Kajumba. Now from me and the entire team, we do wish you a lovely weekend.